What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the animated player mod, and what this mod does is it gives your player a more realistic feel or look in Minecraft. Now, what it does is it adds joints to your knees and your elbows so your arms move more realistically. It also has a different um, running animation, walking animation, swimming, and jumping. There's also a different riding animation for when you ride a pig that has a saddle on it. So let me go ahead and show you all these different animations. So first, if we go ahead, you can see that the walking animation is quite different, especially when you look at it from the side. Let's go ahead and go to the front view. And then, of course, there's running, which is just faster. Uh, version of walking on how the player moves. Then we've got the um, blocking. So when you block, it kind of just does that, which looks really funny because he goes from just standing there to just nur, nur. It just looks weird. Look at that. So there's your uh, blocking animation, and we have your bow. Of course, you see that he pulls back with his arm to shoot the bow. And then we'll go ahead and we'll do a uh, pig thing. All right, come here, pig. Need to put a saddle on you. All right, so here's what it looks like when you ride the pig. Uh, you can see it's like kind of holding on to the pig's torso and his legs are draped over it. Um, I don't know why this carrot on a stick isn't working. But oh well. So that's what it looks like when you're riding on the pig. Okay, now now how can I get off of this thing? Alright, there we go. So here's your jumping animation. It looks really weird. A funny thing to do is flying. Because he just stays in the jumping animation and he just fly around. Now here we go. We'll switch into the swimming. The swimming looks really good. And that's pretty much it for all the different animations that this mod will add to your character. To give it a more realistic feel. So that is the animated player mod. I now need to clear out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install this mod. Alright, so what you're going to need is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. Now, all archiving programs relatively work the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. However, I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. You will then need to download Minecraft Forge and the animated player, model, player mod itself. So to get these two files, I'll go ahead and give you a link to these two pages in the description. So first off for the animated player mod, if we go ahead and scroll down, you can see we've got some nice screenshots. Now it was supposed to do the animation for the eyebrows, the eyes, and the mouth, but for whatever reason I could not get that to work. I even changed back to the default Steve skin and I went into the configs file and uh, everything was correct in there. So I have no clue why it wasn't working. Um, I don't know if it was just a bug or something. But yeah, so you're supposed to also have animated eyes, uh, eyebrows, and a mouth as well. You can read about all that right here. And then we want to keep scrolling down until we get to the download. And just go ahead and click on this big link that says Animated Player version 1.0.2 for Minecraft 1.5. This will then take us over to an ad fly that says, please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad and it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download the animated player mod. Now for Minecraft Forge, if we go ahead and come over to the main Forge download, you can either download this from AdFly or direct, whatever you prefer to do. Keep in mind, downloading it from AdFly will help support the mod creator. And you're going to also want to download the recommended version and the universal, not the source. So again, download the recommended universal version of Minecraft Forge. Um, so yeah, that is how to download everything you will need to successfully install this mod. So when you're ready to install the mod, go ahead and come over to start. Then type in percent at data percent. 
Go ahead and open up your roaming. Open your dot Minecraft. Go ahead and open up your bin. Left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it. Do open with and select whatever archive program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now we will be coming back to our bin later on in the tutorial, so go ahead and minimize that for now. Do not close it. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Minecraft Forge. And you're going to want to put all these files into your Minecraft jar. And the easiest way to highlight them all would be to hold control, then hit A. And that will select all. And then simply drag all these files into your Minecraft jar. Hit OK. Go ahead and close down Minecraft Forge. Now you will have a folder in your Minecraft jar called midinf. You will want to delete this, so go ahead and right click it. Select delete files, then hit yes, and that will delete midinf. You want to make sure you're always deleting midinf for installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it will make Minecraft crash. So after you delete midinf, go ahead and close down your Minecraft jar. And you should have minimized your bin, so go ahead and bring that back up. And hit back, so we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now you're going to need a mods folder in your .minecraft folder, so if you don't have one already, you will need to create one, and to do that, you need to simply right-click within the .minecraft folder, go down to new, then of course select folder. This will of course create a new folder that you want to rename mods, so just M-O-D-S. So now that you have your mods folder, go ahead and open that up. Simply take your animated player zip file and drag it into the mods folder. Now you can go ahead and close down the mods folder, and that's it. You're done installing the mod. So, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment down below um, suggesting mods for future mod tutorials, and I will see you guys in the next video.